When creating sci-fi and fantasy imagery, the lighting within your scene is an integral part of establishing its mood. The following tutorials will teach you how to create various lighting effects that can be incorporated into your drawing. Now we're going to start with something very simple, a bright bulb. So let's just have a quick look here at our bulb. Maybe not that close a look. And you'll see that I've introduced a nice little filament in here and then created a pretty opaque bulb around the outside. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to use the brush tool and I'm going to choose some pretty warm colors here, a nice warm orange to start. And on a new layer, using a pretty small brush with a feathered edge at a slightly lowered opacity, I'm just going to work over our filament here. I'm not too worried about staying in the lines precisely. And I'm going to switch to a yellow to introduce some hotter areas. And now I'm going to switch to a near white to introduce some very hot areas. And usually this will be where the filaments cross over or turn to corners. So now that I have uh, this colored layer quickly blotched into place, I am going to duplicate it. And now I'm going to incorporate a Gaussian blur of about... 12 or so pixels looks about right. And I'll do the same to our top layer, but I'm not going to blur it quite as much. Maybe around four looks pretty good. Now I'm going to merge our two layers together. And I think I can still probably get a little bit more saturation out of this. I'm just going to dim this a little bit more, get rid of some of the whites and make it nice and hot yellow. So with our filament nice and yellow now, what we want to do is we want to copy our bulb. So I'm just going to use the lasso to, to quickly copy that and I'll paste it into place. I'll just nudge it back where it belongs and drop it below our lights layer. And I will also go back to our hue and saturation controls. I'm going to colorize this a nice warm orange. I'm going to just drop the lightness down so we can get a little bit more color out of it. And going back to our Gaussian blur, I'm just going to give the light a little bit of a blur. Now the trick with lighting in Photoshop is you're not going to achieve a nice natural look from a light by making the light itself extremely bright. Where the real trick in lighting comes in is how the light applies to its surroundings. So in this case I'm just going to copy and paste the background here with the lasso again and you'll notice that I used uh, a fairly generous feather on our uh, lasso tool and I'll copy and paste this into place and now what we can do is we can adjust our lighting to make it look as though our light is doing more than just glowing a little bit. And what I can also do is adjust the hue and saturation or add a little bit of color to this light as well to suggest some warmth. 